Hey guys, Jerry with Backwoods Animation, and today I've got a quick tutorial on arm rigs. I'm going to show you how to create probably the most versatile arm rig using Duke Basel. If you liked the video and you want to see the whole thing on how I designed the, the rig and different ways that you can rig an arm, click the link below and you can take my Skillshare class and learn all you need to know. So let's get into it and see how I made this. In order to take this course, we're going to need to download a plugin called Duke Basel. Luckily, it's free. It's an incredible tool, so I highly recommend it. But you're going to need this plugin in order to take this tutorial. So let's get started. Before I start this tutorial, I want to give a shout out to Motion Boyd. Uh, I have a link below to his Instagram account. Feel free to follow him. He's got some really cool stuff on his page, different design elements and animation stuff. But the real reason I want to give him a shout out is because he turned me on to this whole way of rigging the arm. I knew it was possible, but he, he posted this tutorial on his Instagram page. It blew me away. So feel free to follow him. And I just want to thank him for the inspiration as well. Using a newer version of Duke Basso, we'll be able to do some things that he wasn't quite able to do with his rig. Uh, it plays very similar to what he does, but we have a few more things that we can do. So the very first thing that you're going to need before you start this tutorial is Duke Basel. Point two. It's a free plugin, so there's no reason that you shouldn't have it. Okay, so coming back into left arm, I'm going to find my arm point. So select your arm because everything's parented to the arm. This is where Do It comes into play. So hopefully you have Do It installed already and we are good to go. Once you do, you are gonna come over here to Links and Constraints. And after you've gone to Links and Constraints, you're gonna come down here and click Add Bones. It's gonna work its magic and give you a ton of junk. I mean, most of it's useful, but eh, some of it's not. So the things that are not useful are all of these transforms. I don't know what they're there for, have no clue. Maybe you can figure it out, but I don't need it. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna delete some of these blue ones, some of the teal ones we don't need. How do we find out which ones we need and which ones we don't? Well, it's easy. Select one and pull it around. If it does nothing, you don't need it. If it adjusts the forearm, or not the forearm, but the bicep, you need it. So make sure you just pull it straight down, straight down into the forearm. Next, we'll come to these guys, move it around. If this one adjusts the forearm, you need it. Pull it straight down, just like so, and you can delete the other one. And then this means that these two green, these two teal ones that control the wrist, you don't need. So that leaves us with three orange bones and two teal control arms. The next thing you need to do is we're going to set up a hierarchy of how these things are parented. So this is my, my wrist control or my hand control, and I'm going to parent it to the elbow. Next, I'm going to parent the elbow to the upper arm and it has to be parented in that order. Finally, selecting the wrist, I'm gonna create another controller. Come up here to this hand, it's called Create Controllers, and I'm gonna add this cross with a circle around it. It's gonna position it right over the hand control, and we are just about ready. Next, rename this one, C, uh, what are we, left hand, C, left, and you want to make sure that it's naming um, his name is is in line with all the limbs that it, it uh, goes with. So finally, this is crucial in this order, and it must be this order. So follow closely. We're going to select the wrist, hold control, select the elbow, the shoulder, and finally the hand controller that we just made. Once you have all four of these selected, 
Now we get to come over here and we're gonna click on links and constraints one more time. And at the very top, you're gonna to find something called auto rig and IK. Click it and watch the magic happen. Whoa. Doesn't that just look amazing? Yes, it looks amazing because it is amazing. Next, I'm gonna just turn off this IK line. I don't need the IK line and it gets in the way because you end up clicking it for some reason and we don't need it. So let's see what we got. We have an arm that bends, we have an arm that deforms. We can do some amazing things with this and get some really good control out of our rig. Um, the next thing you're gonna see is a problem that we're gonna fix. So this looks like just a tube. It's not very cool. It's not doing um, quite the arm bend that you want. So we're gonna fix it and we're gonna get some creases here in the arm. How do we do that? We'll come back to our arm and we're gonna, um, we're gonna duplicate these two guys. So both arms, and we're gonna put them actually above the sleeve. Okay. Next what we'll do is we're going to, we'll start with the top one and we're gonna trim the path so that it comes, whoops, so that it comes all the way down just here to the elbow. And then we'll close that down and we'll go to arm three. We're gonna do the same thing with that trim path and we're gonna pull this one down until it, it goes behind arm four. And now when you look, we have this nice crease in the elbow and it looks so much better. Doesn't that look better? And it bends along with it and everything looks beautiful. So now we're getting some really good um, arm, <coughs> arm bends and arm movements. And you can also see that right up here is something called reverse. You can reverse the elbow to the other side and that crease moves right along with it. All right, let's move, come on. All right, sometimes you gotta zoom in kind of close to get the right spot. Anyway, guys, this is the most versatile way that you can animate your arms. I, I can't emphasize it enough. Don't use another method. This is the best method. Uh, and if you disagree with me, that's fine. I don't mind your disagreement. That is your opinion. So now we have arms. They're looking good. Everything stretches and moves how we want it to. So then we'll go through and we'll do the same thing to the other arm. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope that your arm rigs are working great and um, I hope this video kind of enlightened you on a new way of doing things. It was definitely new for me and when I found it, I was like, whoa, this is revolutionary. So um, feel free to like the video, subscribe if you did, and uh, comment. Tell me what you think. And if you, want, if you do want to see the whole video, please click the link below and take my Skillshare class. Thanks for watching, guys.